first thing that you see in this movie is Clint Eastwood comes in and he's just like hobbling around, looking like a skeleton with skin, probably has <laughs> dementia. Like, oh, come on. Oh, come on. You don't on. think so? Okay, he's 91. I'll talk about his performance in a minute. Go ahead. Okay. He, like, and he just, it looked like he was like, didn't even know the lines. Like, he just, uh, I, uh, forgot what my line was. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, no, seriously, like, he, you know what he looked like? You know what he reminded me of? He reminded me of the dude who played the scary guy in Poltergeist 2 in this. Like, he, he just looks like, I would not be surprised if he died tomorrow. Like, that's how, I'm serious. Like, I looked at it and I just was like, that is Clint Eastwood now. Remember when you said that, when you said, uh, when you weren't gonna be able to record last night, I was like, well, I think we should get this recording out because it could be his last movie because he's not gonna buy a lot. Or he's, <laughs> he could go like in two months and I was like, I'd feel no, bad I'm, if it was last movie. Yeah, no, he is for sure. Like, he is, he is definitely, I just, like I looked at it and I was I'm not I'm not exact I mean I'm being kind of No, you're not you're not but well, I'm I, not exaggerating. I, like he really did look like he was busted up. Like you know, if he if he was making a conscious choice, like a character choice with this guy, he did a fantastic job of convincing me that he was way too old to be doing anything. Like right. you know, <laughs> like he he just did, like and anyway, the thing was though is it's not just that, it's that I felt like the what I saw, I was so annoyed right off the gate. Clint Eastwood's character is all jacked up because he broke his back and now he's a drug addict drunk who's got all these problems and he's a mess and he's being fired by this manager who kept him around for decades. And then he walks away, he goes, I always knew you were a spineless, you know, you you were a spineless bag of bones, blah 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 blah. Uh, I just I never wanted to say it. Ugh. And then he just like walks away and I'm like, all right, and then he hobbles and <laughs> walks away and then and then all of a sudden next thing you know like <laughs> it's a terrible situation and they come back and they're like one year later and then he's sitting in that same place and then the guy comes back a year later and he's talking and you know to they like, filmed it like later on that day because like yeah it's <laughs> it looks exactly the same nothing like you change your shirt and then come back <laughs> yeah so then it comes back one year later and, it, and he's like oh now i'm gonna send you to mexico to go find my son you owe me because i kept you around for so long and cleese was like Ugh. Yes, I own you. I owe you. Uh, there's a there's a hundred guys out there that'd be better than me. I'm an old man, and I'm like, yeah, you are. You're not gonna survive. <laughs> You're not gonna survive in Mexico. <laughs> Look at Maybe this guy. he was describing playing in this part. He wasn't talking about the carry. There was a hundred guys that could be doing this part for me. But yeah, I'm, he's like, he's like, like I, I was, just, I, I don't even know where I am right now. <laughs> Like he's yeah. not even acting. He's not all even right, acting. all right, all right. Like he probably sat there and thought that. Like, we were talking. This I'm was this was the worst right performance. There. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this. Out. Worst performance than even him being at the Republican National Committee talking to a chair that was supposed to be Obama. Like it was that bad. Seriously, like it was. A, I'm. It, 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 that's it. Pains me because every movie that Clint Eastwood has ever made has. I've loved it. Like it's always been good.